Trip App started as a Erasmus Plus project, which was a partnership between Help Not Harm, Youth Organizations for Drug Action, and night, the Nightlife Empowerment and Wellbeing Project, with some support from NUI Galway's Insight Center for Data Analytics. The primary aim at that time was to uh, uh, empower people with information and data that is meaningful in their lives. Such data for young people who use drugs include um, laboratory test analysis results and the, which the, the data that is shared with us, we can provide those to the people. The, the other part of the project was to um, map harm reduction services and we mapped over 3000 services around Europe and we also translated it into a variety of European languages I believe it was 17 at the time. Since that time, we've expanded through a partnership with Utrise, and uh, which is receiving uh, funding from Robert Carr Fund and uh, Global Fund to fight HIV, TB, and malaria. And through that uh, funding, we've been able to translate aspects of the um, of the map to in Urdu, Hindi, Nepali, Swahili, Arabic. Um, and we're also trying to start in the mapping drive now, which will be to map services throughout the world. And, and we, we're starting on uh, mapping in um, Asia Pacific, Middle East, uh, Africa, and South America. And we're looking for as many of those services as possible and also to try update those services because we want to try to create a world where any person who, who migrates or travels or is a tourist for any reason can find the service that is local to them and also find the meaningful data around their substance use. So if you're someone who has access to this sort of information, please help share it. If you're a peer or a service provider, please input your service. Um, please connect with us because we want to try to create a, a global system uh, that works for young people who use drugs and other key affected populations. Thank you. I think I had two main motivations for creating TripUp. First one is the rapid pace at which the drug market is currently changing. So we have tens of new substances being detected each year and the methods of production and distribution of so-called traditional substances such as MDMA or cocaine are uh, rapidly evolving too. And I thought that with a system that would alert people about potential threats much quicker than the annual reports and will be available to a wider audience uh, than uh, the government databases are usually available to, uh, because most often it's only government agencies that, that can access them. Uh, so that's why we decided to work with NGO-run drug checking programs and present the results of their work in a form of a large system based on the uh, location of the app user. Second reason for me was the international aspect of the work we do at Youth Organizations for Drug Action. People, especially the young ones, are traveling more and more, uh, and it's often difficult for them to find necessary support programs while abroad. And that's why we wanted to make it easier for them to access these crucial services, both in their countries and while traveling, uh, by uh, giving them a map of harm reduction services, uh, but also services related to sexual health, for example, um, in Europe and beyond. The adventure of TripUp began when Jan Stola contacted me during April 2017. At this moment, we had a lot of festivals, a lot of people traveling around these festivals. And when Jan proposed me to develop an app to try to have accessible all the results of drug checking services to people who were taking drugs and also who were traveling to these festivals, I thought that this was a great idea. At this moment, we are just ending a big pandemic. It seems that recreational context, parties, festivals are returning again and also it seems that the market of the MDMA is more adulterated than before the pandemic. So at this time TripUp is more useful than ever because when we were thinking about this app we were thinking about helping people to those MDMA taking under consideration that at this time we could have even four doses inside a building. At this moment we can also 
send this information about adulteration that is very important because then you can those smart but also take smart decisions and remove all the adulterations and with pills is easy because we know that these pills are traveling and are easy to identify so with three pack what we are trying is to help people to identify these pills that can be more dangerous for adulterants for the presence of adulterants or for high doses and try to help people to dose smart and to enjoy the party. Hi, my name is Adria Quesada and I'm the current programmer of Prepa. I've been working as an IT consultant for the last two years, mainly with NGOs and organizations that provide drug checking and harm reduction services. I was introduced to Prepa by my work colleagues and since then I've been really, really interested in it because I, I wanted to see how this application will develop in the next years. So when I got the opportunity to work on it, I couldn't be more happy. I was ready to use all my skills and knowledge to try to make the platform better. TripUp is a new approach on how we deliver the information to the users. From a drug checking and hand reduction services database to the de devices that the user use because we live in an era of where internet and smartphones are essential in our daily lives. So we wanted to take advantage of that technologies to try to centralize all the information in one place that a user can or will need. Another topic that I'm really interested in is privacy, because we live in a time that there are many actors that try to use our data without our consent for the profit. Also, the use of psychoactive substances is still a social taboo and in plenty of countries, even the small possession of drugs can become a criminal offense. That is why here in Tripa, we take the privacy of our users very seriously and I can assure that we don't store any personal data in our service. Thank you to all the people that made this project possible because together we are changing the world.